Magic 51, and uh, I'm just sort of making a video response to uh, somebody who commented on my altar video. So, um, basically, I got my answer. It's saying that uh, the matron is a female goddess. And the patron is the male god, which is what I wanted to uh, know to begin with. Now, in sort of response uh, to this person, you know who you are, so I'm not going to say the name. Um, but I wanted to, to clarify, I'm not getting sucked in by... Uh, books and such, sure, they, they, they say that uh, you need fancy stuff and everything on your altar and stuff like that. But in my case, I, uh, the reason why I want to um, buy that stuff is because I'm more of a visual person. Of course, I can just easily just say, uh, the pantheon's name that I follow, you know, like Isis or Osiris, but uh, I'm waiting to to get the visual aspect of the uh, uh, goddess and god uh, Horus um, for one other thing, because I kind of feel like uh, that if I have the Egyptian pantheons, uh, you know, family together uh, would make a very powerful, um, you know, altar setting. But I'm not. I mean, it's 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 not just going to be used for protection. Sure, it can be used for protection for one thing, but um, my reason for getting. Uh, those manufactured uh, statues to to begin with is because I'm more of a visual person and um, that way I could uh, call on the, the deities that I follow. Now, my matron uh, goddess is who I follow mostly, but I kind of feel like I need the visual aspect of Osiris and Horus as well. Uh, on my altar. So that's the reason why I'm getting that. And I'm not getting all fancy stuff. Um, <coughs> see, this is the reason why I am doing this as a video response because I feel like this is going to be a long comment on my page. For, for the advice. I, I'm, I'm not saying I, I don't care for it. I'm just thanking you for, for the advice in advance. But I did throw away the uh, lost feather that, that my um, bird had, had lost in her molting. But uh, I do have a new one up for an offering. But, uh, yeah, she just lost a a puffy feather here. <laughs> um, <coughs> anyway, thank you in advance, but I'm not doing anything um, all by the book, even though it says uh, such things like that. I do have my own way of doing my little small rituals or um, spell work, uh, but I mostly do spell work and, and rituals as sort of a, um, honor, you know, in honor of, uh, the deity, and, um, and mostly for the, uh, last resort kind of thing, 
uh, when nothing else, uh, excuse me, when nothing else, um, you know, seems to be working, and I do spell work and ritual, and I have to be in the mood to, to, to do it for one thing. I'm not always doing spell work or anything like that. So I have to be in the mood for it. And another thing, I have to be awake. <laughs> awake enough for me to do the ritual as well. But um, I got a birthday present from my mom and uh, she got me one of those uh, coffee makers that has like one of these little small um, coffee cartridges kind of thing by Keurig. Uh, so maybe I could uh, drink a little of that before starting a ritual, but um, as far as I'm concerned, I have to be naturally awake uh, in order for me to actually do the work. Um, that's my thoughts and feelings on it. It's not right for everybody to to do this, of course, but it, it's what I do to get ready. Uh, so thanks in advance for the uh, response uh, on the comment page. And um, that's cool you have a, a cockatoo. <laughs> I, I have a, a cockatiel that just loves playing around, so <laughs> she can never sit still. She uh, either wants to be on my leg or on my shoulder. Right now she wants to be on my shoulder. And, and, um, and in closing, this is Magic 51. Um, signing out. Peace, and I'll catch you later.